Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to study an aspect of technical drawing which is called tangency. We will be analyzing a problem. Now, and this is what we are trying to do today. We are told to replicate this diagram here, this figure. Now, the first thing you do when you see a question like this is to locate the two cycles, right? Which is, we have one of them here, and we have another one here, right? And the distance between both of them is 75. So the first thing I will do, I will draw a straight line and measure 2.75. So let's do that first and see. Now, if I move this to this point here, right? And I'm going to draw my 75. I'm assuming this, my ruler here is my T square. So I'm going to draw the 75 this way. A straight line fence right and I'll pick a point let's see I'm picking this point here let's say this point right so from that point I'll measure 75 so from 1 to 75 so you start the zero and where you start from is zero right and this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. In, middle, in, in, the, in between 7 and 8 is 75. So that is 75. Now on it, I will draw like a cross. So I'll do that here. Is that the king? So in doing that, I will have something like this. I see that front line and I'll come here also I'll do the same thing also so in doing that I have this this way right so after you've done that the next thing you do is to draw your circle there so in drawing my circle I will say that let's see I've already drawn these two lines, this point to this point, 75. I want to draw this circle. And to draw a circle, you need a radius. And the radius between this, look at where the arrow is touching, means that distance from here to here is the radius, and that is what, 22. So I'm going to measure 22. So in measure 22, I'll take my compass and measure 22 on my meter rule, right? So if I start from 0, 1 is 10, 2 is 20, this is 21, and this is 22 here. You can see that? 22. So I'll place it at this center here, right? And I'm going to draw a circle, but I'll use my faint line. You can see that? And I'll go to the next point also. So let's see. Now if you notice it, these two circles are not on the same line. This is a bit higher than this. But the distance from this other circle from here to the next circle is what? 10. From the center of the circle, you move a height of 10 to get to where the center is. On this, from here to here is what? 75. So on that 75, where this line is, you measure 10 upward. Do you know what I mean? On this from here to here 75, right? So I'll measure 10 upward. So in measuring 10 upward, from 1 to here is 10, right? So I'm going to use my meter rule. My C square is better, my T square is better. And I'm going to draw this line this way, faint line first. So this is the other center here. So at this point, that is where my second circle lies. So now, I will look at it. My second circle lies at this point. Right? So what is the radius of the circle? And that is what? 12. So I will take a radius of 12. This point here, this point here, and this point here is this point and this point. So I'm going to take my other circle and I'll measure radius of 12. So how will I do that? I'll take my meter rule from 0 
to 10 to 1 is 10 then this is 11 this is what 12 you can see that that is 12 so in doing that 12 I'm going to place it here and I'll draw my circle but I'll use faint line right I'll use my faint line here now after I've done that now the next step I'm going to do is I'll look at my diagram again and looking at my diagram I've done this and I've done this now it's for me to draw this connecting arc now if you notice this at this point here you're seeing here is this point here right I mean this point let me show you is this point here are we good so it is not tangent so what you just simply do is that this arc here this I'll place with this radius of what um 70 and uh, 55 because I need this arc right and it's telling me the arc radius is what is 75 is that taken so I will take my compass since it's not a tangent I'll use it directly that way so I'm going to measure 55 right so I'll measure 55 from 0 to 75 I'll measure 55 so between 5 and 6 is 55 right so in doing that I'm going to come here I'll place it on this point here right and I'm going to strike an arc at the other side here so that is my arc of strikes right so the next thing I'm going to do so after you've done that you look at your diagram again you're looking at the diagram again you've already drawn this arc right you from this point you've measured an uh by set a line of 55 now but if you look at this it is tangential to this circle but what do you notice the circle is internal like you have something like this and there's another circle inside so the circle is what is internal right this circle is internal this is just here are you with me now? So if you see anything like this, you are going to subtract the radiuses. So you are going to subtract this bigger radius, 55 minus 12. And that will give us what? 43. So I will take my 43 from this center. So let me measure 43. I will take 43 from this center. 43 from 0. This is 40. Right? This is 43. Is that again? And I'll place it at the center here and I'll strike an arc. Is that okay? So where they meet, that point, I'll move it from that point to this point here. You can see that point? Because if you look at your diagram very well, the point you want to start moving from is this point here. Right? Is this point here. Can you see? So I'll move it from that point. From here to this point, right, and I'm going to draw my arc. I'm going to draw my arc from here. I will take in it. You can see that? That's the first thing you do. Now, the second one if you look at this, you now you discover that the same thing is happening here also. From this point, this bigger circle here has a radius of what 85. But this arc, this arc here, connecting arc, is not tangential to this circle. If when I mean not tangential, if you should see, it is going in, so it's not tangential. So you use the same measurement, which is 85, and place it at this point and measure and cut an arc. Since this is coming this way, I mean you cut here somewhere around here. So I'll take 85. This point you're seeing here is this point here right so i'll take the radius because the radius of this part here is 85 so i'll take the radius of 85 right the radius of 85 and i'm going to measure it from here to 85 in between 8 and 9 is 85 you can see that 
and I'll place it at this point here where I want it to start from and I'll strike up here you can see so if I do that the next thing I'll do is if you look at this also this arc here is tangential to this circle and if you look at it it's going like this so this circle is internal whenever you have internal you have to what subtract so I'll subtract what I need is bigger radius minus what the smaller radius and that will give us what 63 so I'm going to measure 63 on my metal rule I'll measure 63 on my metal rule so from 0 to 6 is 60 then 63 is somewhere around here right so this is the three here you can see that so I'll place it at the center of this here and I'll strike an arc so the point where the meet is here so what I will do is from here which is here right which is here I will take the radius of those two so when I place it from here to this point here right to this point here I'm going to draw my arc I'm going to gauge it right so from here I'll gauge it sorry to touch here can you see that so the radius from here to that point here now I will complete this here because if you look at our diagram we are only replicating then I will join from this point with my main circle to this point so when I place my compass here right I'm going to place it at this point right and I'll draw my arc that again place it here and I'll draw my arc and drain my arc, I will have something like this. I will have something like this. So let's move that. So you gauge it, when you gauge it, you have something like that. So you have something like this. And you take it here also, because if you look at the diagram from here to here, right, it's coming this way. So I'll place it here and I'm going to do the same thing here also from this point. I'm going to get my arc. You can see that? So I'll move it. Now this is what we've successfully replicated the diagram, which is this. Is that the key? Now we're going to put in our dimension. Now since a circle, a circle is a symmetrical object. So you need center line to show it is symmetrical. So I'll take my rule, right? And I'm going to draw my center line. Center line is a long one, a short one, long one, short one, long one, short one, long one, right? Then you do the same thing here too. You do the same thing. We have um, long one, short one, long one, short one, long one, short one, long one. Short one right now you do this for these two to show the symmetrical symmetrical means you know how you, no matter how you cut it from the center line the two sides will be the two different sides will be what equal long one short one long one short one long one short one you can stop here right then i'll do the same thing here too this is another center here i'll have um a long one, a short one, a long one, a short one, a long one, a short one, and so on and so forth. Now, after that, we do our dimension. We say from this point straight down to this point is uh, 75. So, this is what 75, and we told the radius of this circle. Is giving us 22. So we have 22 here, just 22. Why this here is 50, 
That is 85. It is 85. Alright. And distance between these two here is 10. So this is 10. Then this is 65. This is just what? 55. Then this is 12. This is just 12. So this is what we have. And that is our tangency problem solved. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. So, and also don't forget to like. Thanks for watching.